Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Liptier20 and welcome back to Minecraft on our hardcore so our world where today I plan to do a little bit of resource harvesting such as like getting some iron, coal, I need a lot of torches and some more fuel and maybe, just maybe, we'll find some diamonds. But as far as off camera stuff goes, I did a little bit of work here. I got some barrels right here. I got a lovely steering wheel. Um, I kind of need to make it look a little better but this is pretty much all I could think of. And I also made a little dock. Now, I will say I do need to add some ladders to it, but I think it would be a really nice fishing dock. You know, we go out here, fish a little bit, see our lovely ship. And we need some, uh, we need to get some sails and a little bit of that, like, wool covering for the back here. But yeah, just like I said, we do need to go out resource hunting. Main thing I really want to go for is diamonds, but at the very least, make sure we're going, like, iron and coal. But first things first, we should probably get some torches. So I'm going to smelt down some of my logs here. Now, if we do get some redstone, I think the first thing I would make would be, like, an easy farm where it just automatically dispenses everything to one spot. Rather than having to go out, like, manually break the plant and replant it. I'll still have to replant, but I do not want to worry about, like, oh, no. I gotta go punch all the crops and okay now I gotta replant them I might as well make it like a one person deal you know maybe in the future I'll get some villagers and have it be like an automatic process I think you can do it on Java I know you can do it on Bedrock but I think you can also do it on Java as well I will also have to say it really sucks that Optifine isn't out yet like I swear it should have been out like a week ago because I know I take a while to upload some videos but that's mainly because I'm like currently packing and whatnot so that's why there hasn't been any videos for a week now but like come on Optifine you're usually much better with this man I cannot wait for my farm to be fully complete right here i do need to get some pumpkins and melons now that i think about it though we have a lot of plans and hopefully a lot of time to do it i do not want to like end up dying very early on all right let's get the show on the road and start finding some diamonds well i think this might be a pretty good cave right here let's go explore it and see what's inside I'm gonna definitely make sure i get all this coal hello mr zombie how are you doing oh we are being shot at by a skeleton where did you come from i didn't even see you Oh, you came from up here. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Ooh, there's a creeper as well. You know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna back away a little bit here. Oh, please don't hurt me. Okay, whew. That could have been really bad right there. So going back to what I was saying earlier on why I haven't been here for a week, it is because I am planning on moving here soon. So I've been, like, packing, paperwork, all that. All that adult stuff. It's kind of really boring, I'm not gonna lie. But between that and just trying to play with some friends, I kind of got a little sidetracked and did not record any videos whatsoever so i apologize for that but that does mean that hopefully soon i can start doing stuff like live streaming and who knows maybe just try to have a lot more content pump out much faster because another problem i have is a lot of animals they just go off at like certain times of the day so i have to do it at night and it's like well i can't be too loud at night so it's a little weird with some of my content where i have to be like yay and i'm like really quiet for something super cool but all that will change hopefully soon well i think i kind of cleared this cave pretty bone dry here let me make sure i'm not messing anything around here yeah it does not look like it that's a little disappointing was hoping this would be a bear cave but you know what the next one we find will be the one the best cave ever oh i see Ooh, hang on we got some pumpkins i was about to say i see a uh, opening over there but we got some pumpkins down here definitely gonna need some of this all right let's see what's in here oh it's a water cave okay never mind Ooh, that is a cave that is one beautiful cave right here let's go explore it gotta be careful so that way i don't uh don't just drop straight down all right and we got the lava still generating so we gotta be very careful Ooh, i was just about to start running right there let me just kind of shimmy my way around all that lava uh, a little scary, not gonna lie. And here we are at the bottom of the caverns. Ooh, redstone. Perfect. Need that redstone. This will definitely come in handy because I have a lot of redstone ideas that I want to do. Obviously, first one, like I said, being the farm. But I want to set up some, like, pretty cool stuff where it's like, hey, if it's this certain time of day, it does this feature or whatever. You know, like the uh, whole... Uh, like lights coming on with these solar panels like if it's nighttime it automatically starts uh turning on rest of lamps that'd be really cool Ooh, we got a mine shaft too oh that's beautiful b-e-a-u-tiful i love finding mine shafts they are my most favorite thing in the world god damn there's a lot Ooh, okay okay no, no 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 we are gonna die if we don't start running okay okay gotta be very careful i forgot how dangerous cave spiders can be no 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 back away back away Back away. Okay, yep, we gotta go hide. We gotta go hide. Ooh, half a heart hero. Half a heart hero. There's a creeper right behind us, too. Oh, that's so, so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna place down some water just so that way stuff just kind of flows away from us. Of course, the spider's coming here. Okay, spider's dead. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Hi, Mr. Creeper. You wanna say hi? Thank you. Look at all those zombies. 
That is... That is ridiculous. Oh, thank God we can kind of, like, juggle them right here. Oh my God, I am not a fan of these zombies. They have been messing me up so much right here. Okay, I think that's all of them. I think... Hopefully that's all of them. All right, let's go explore that mine shaft. Hopefully this time we are going to be jumped by like 20 different mobs at once. I do want to get this iron first though, because iron does not hurt whatsoever. And I see a skill, Tony. Let me see what you're up to. Oh, hang on. We got some diamonds. Hang on. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to the skill, Tony. Okay, skill, Tony is not after us, but the zombie is. Get out of here. I need to get that diamond. Need to get that diamond. I need that thumbnail. And I think something like this. Should be a pretty good thumbnail. Hopefully it is. I don't wanna don't wanna try to redo that with the zombie on me now. Okay. Ooh, man, you guys hurt like a mother. Ooh. How many diamonds do we got right here though? How many diamonds? We have two, three, four. Okay. Can we get five maybe? Ah, uh, okay. Four. That's pretty good though. Pretty good. Just one more, and we can get ourselves an enchantment table as well. Alright, let's see what's inside this lovely mine shaft. Hopefully, hopefully a lot of good stuff. Uh, definitely gotta take care of this real quick. Okay, Mr. Skeleton, I need you to leave me alone here, buddy. Please stop hurting me. There you go. Okay, I'm getting rid of this right away. Because I did not see any use we need with this. Oh, my sword broke. Okay, that is not a good thing. Uh, let's quickly make a new one then. I can actually probably use some of the iron I got right here to make a new one. So let me make that and then do this and that. Ooh, we got a chest as well. Oh, oh my god. Hang on, that is also another thumbnail right there. That is also another thumbnail. I don't know if that's saved like that, but oh my god, that is so lucky. Man, our luck is off the charts right now. And some more diamonds. Okay, this is the luckiest day I've had so far. I swear, this seems like I like planted everything with how lucky this is. But I promise you, I promise you. I have not. Let me make that sword right here. And man, I would say we're good to go, but I want to keep on going. I want to see, I want to see how far we can take this. I at least want to get some obsidian right now. And we just need to find a nice pool of lava and we should be pretty good to go right there. Oh, and another. Okay. Okay. I thought that was going to be another one right there. Okay. Uh, let's grab that and then grab some of the torches. Some glowberries wouldn't hurt as well. Ooh, we got some gold. Definitely need that for some items. Ooh, look at that pool of lava. That's what we're talking about right here. Nothing too big. Don't need to be too extravagant here. But I do need to get some obsidian. About 14. That's enough for a, uh, for a nether portal and an enchantment table. Oh my god, you scared the hell out of me. We have... Okay, we do have some food left over. Okay, I was a bit worried that we ate through all our food there. I know we ate our bread, but I didn't know if we ate our uh, steak yet or not. You know, it's all fun in games till Herobrine shows up. And if he actually shows up, I am leaving. I am not opening up this world ever again. I would actually probably be scared to open up Minecraft. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I actually remember those days where everybody was making like those Herobrine videos. Like, oh my god, I saw Herobrine in my world. I don't remember like my friends trying to do that because back on the uh, 360, there was a skin you could get that was the Herobrine skin. And they would purposely do stuff like change it to cheats only or like cheats enabled. And what that means is like you can hide like the usernames and the uh, teleport all around and all that stuff. And I just remember them going like, oh my god, guys, it's Herobrine. And we got a few people with that. I didn't believe in that because I was like, okay, I've seen the skin before. I know what you're trying to do. But man, good old times, good old times. And I remember always trying to do like some of the mod videos because I used to watch a lot of Skyda's Minecraft. Kind of shame what he turned into, but I used to watch a lot of his content. And I remember trying to do some of the mods, but I didn't realize they were mods. So I thought, oh, you can do this in the game if you do it like that. And it always failed. Get out of here, spider. But like it always failed, you know, stuff like the, uh, what is it, the ether uh twilight forest i tried to do some of the firework mods one did not work out whatsoever i did learn after like a couple attempts that it was a mod so it's not actually in the game and that really made me so upset when i found that out and i remember always trying to like add some of the mods in but i sucked at modding because i was like 13 my computer sucked i sucked at the adding mods so it was not a good time trying to do that i mean to be honest i've only started doing like the mod stuff with curse forge and that's only because curse forge did all of the work for me but let me see a way out of here because i want to go celebrate some of my loot here now we do need to also look out for any lapis because we need that for enchanting wise uh ooh, my inventory is very very full right now 
I do need these melon seeds. I can get rid of the saplings. We don't need that. Redstone would be useful. We don't need rotten flesh. I don't know why I haven't gotten rid of that yet. But yeah, I need to find some lapis for enchantments because I would need that for the future for protection and some fortune. All right, let's see what's up here. Have I explored this yet? think maybe does not look like it okay pretty good pretty good that allows us to find a lot more good stuff like this redstone right here Ooh, look at that we got a diamond and a name tag because that actually okay i forgot to mention it earlier i did get some name recommendations so my dogs are gonna be named bjorn and pewdiepie pews for short so uh shout out to the user that commented that i forgot the name i apologize i'll uh i'll post a comment though i usually do but shout out for them for the name idea i really enjoyed the uh enjoyed the idea especially since pewdiepie is back playing minecraft now so what i can do is use that as an excuse to put them in the uh put them in the description here and maybe the title Ooh, more diamonds let's go by the way i am joking about the whole like putting him in the description and whatnot i'm not I don't, I don't like trying to be the whole like oh my god we gotta hop on the highest trend right now i tried to do that once and i did not like it because it was for the uh oh my god that's a lot of iron but it was for the uh game life of p and i came to the realization i am not a dark souls or any dark souls games type of person and some more diamonds okay perfect but yeah, I'm not that type of person. I really, really did not enjoy it. Not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying I suck at those games. So it's not my, uh, not my cup of tea. But more power to people who do. Because that is, I'm not going to lie, is very impressive for people that are, like, able to play games like that. And actually, like, beat it without, I don't know, breaking 20 monitors. Okay, we got some more diamonds. I was just about to run past you. Oh, and we got some more. Hang on. That's three. And we got fourth. Let's go. Should probably start slowing my roll down here so that way I don't accidentally mine all the diamonds. Because I do want to come back once I get a fortune three pickaxe. Because, ooh, we are going to be swimming in it. So let's start. Oh my god, we got more. This is like a loop magnet right here. But I do want to start making my way out of here. I do not want to do not want to die because I'm in the cave right now. Now, how do we get out of here? Because I don't want to just rely on breaking straight through, but I might have to do that. Oh my god, some more diamonds. Why are we getting so many? I mean, I'm thankful. Don't get me wrong. I am very thankful. But we do not need this many right now. And there's some more. Okay, I need to mm, I need to leave before I just immediately stay here forever. Mr. Zombie, please stop trying to attack me. Okay, being chased by a baby zombie. That is not part of my agenda here. I need some food. I need some food so that way I don't get uh, jumped by them and not uh, get any health back. Because the amount of times that that has happened is way too high. Alright, let's see if we can kind of shimmy up back the way we came from. Gotta be super duper careful. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, who? Okay, we got... Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope. I'd rather lose our water right now than have that lava fall on top of us. And it fell on top of us. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, there's a hole there. Perfect. Um, I'm just gonna go out this direction. That is terrifying. That is terrifying to see right here. Alright, we're just gonna do uh, this method of climbing all the way straight to the top here. Because I do not want to try and make a little stairwell here okay that could be really bad let me just go to the uh couple blocks over here thank god we aren't in the nether because that thing would pour straight on me okay nope not dealing with that or actually are we safe here okay we're safe here okay oh had me a little worried here uh, of course it's nighttime as well i just saw that all right let's just uh play it safe play it very very safe i saw that zombie Hello, zombie. You don't see me. Okay, we seem to be in a little bit of the clear here. Gotta be very careful, though, so that's why I have my shield out. Just in case any, like, skeletons, creepers, they just come up to me and I can do that. Uh, okay, let me time this more properly. There we go, yeah! And boom, and there we go. Oh, there's some endermen up there. I want their eyes, but they will definitely, definitely hurt me. Because if you think these zombies are bad... These guys have nothing on them. So I think for now, let's play it a little safe. We gotta be... I gotta play it safe. I have to. Ah, there she is. I have never felt so relieved to see a house ever before than now. There we go. We have finally, finally made it home. So let me go deposit our earnings here. And I think one of the things I want to do... Okay, we do have some of that. And a letter. Perfect. Okay, so one thing I want to do is make a bookshelf. Well, not bookshelf. An enchantment table. 
So that requires that. That requires a little bit of that. And some of that. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. And what I think we can probably do... Hmm, we need an area for our enchantment table. Just to make it look really cool. And I think for that, we should probably have it... Let's have it somewhere nearby. I do know last time I made it, it was a lush cave. But this time I want to make it a little different here. And I think right down here would be really cool. And I'm saying that because I want to upgrade this area to be also a nether portal area. So I'm thinking right here, this is where our portal will be. And it has a little bit of the nether creep out. But then behind it will be the enchantment table and a lot of like other stuff like nether warp farm and anything like nether related. Because so I think that would be a really cool idea. Kind of combine the two ideas into one. But there we go. We got a portal frame set up. And then now we just need to have a enchantment area. Which I think for that I'll probably set up more once I get a better pickaxe. And after we go to like the nether and fight some like blazes and whatnot. Because one thing I want to do is get started on some potions. Because that would be very useful for some some bartering with the villagers. Because one thing I want to do is like infect the villagers and get some like good loot and whatnot. Speaking of which, we should probably visit our village here soon. Try to see like what trades we can get. Like hopefully some mending. And probably start making like a villager farm. But there we go. We got an enchantment table. Let me place some torches here. And I think this should be another thumbnail. I'm doing the whole like YouTube three thumbnail thing. See what like thumbnails work the best. Which one doesn't. So that way I can kind of like mix and match. And see what you guys like and don't like. But yeah. Now I think the only thing I have left to do. Is start making a sheep farm. Because I do want to get the uh, ship completely finished here. I think the best thing we can do. Is have it set up over there near our farm. Since that's where the uh, wheat and whatnot is. And I should probably. Yeah I have some oak fences. Perfect. Now let's see. We need some wheat. Do we have any left over? No we do not. Okay. We need to make sure we have some. Uh, do we have bones somewhere? We have a little bit. Uh, not too much, though. All right, we got our wheat, and I think right here should be a perfect spot for our farm. So let's see. Let me make sure this is good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Don't need anything too extravagant. And we got our first sheep over here. Hello, Mr. Sheep. You want to come over here to my lovely little, lovely little pen? No, oh, come back here. Why'd you run away? There we go. There we go. Come back here. You want to follow the wheat? No, you don't want to stay behind. There we go. They changed, like, how far they actually follow the wheat. Because I swear they could, like, follow from, like, up to 20 blocks. Well, let me die you. There we go. You will be perfect for our sales over here. And then in the future, we can have, like, a automatic sheep farm. Oh, that's another thing we can use the redstone for. An automatic sheep farm. That would be so perfect. An iron farm would also be really perfect. Ooh, we got a lot of good ideas right now. I know I keep on saying that, but there's just... Ooh, I am so excited to start implementing some of them. Is that a skeleton horse? Oh my god, that is a thumbnail. Hang on, I don't need anything else right here. Hang on, let me get this thumbnail. Let me get this thumbnail. Perfect. Okay, now we stop uh, having them fight each other. So let me... Oh, no, no. I shot the uh, skeleton horse. Oh, no. I didn't mean to shoot the horse. Okay, we got book it. We got book it. They are hurting me a lot. Oh, perfect. They kill each other. And we got two free horses. Let's go. Okay, I just need to kill you now. I just need to kill you. Please die. Please die. Ooh, okay, that was very close. What do you have? Protection 2. Very good, very good. Oh my god, that is not something you see every day. Hang on, that is a thumbnail. That is a thumbnail. This is the luckiest episode I've ever had. Oh, do we need saddles? No, don't tell me we need saddles. Okay, I'm gonna go find some, uh... I'm gonna go find some leads. I was just gonna find some sheep, but this is even better. Thank God I found a uh, wandering traveler earlier. Oh, while I'm here, let me make sure I actually smelt some of my iron, because I want to make an anvil here soon. Don't think I have enough for an anvil yet, so we will have to go out the... Yeah, we don't have enough, so we will have to go out again for some iron. Right now, our main priority is the skeleton horses. It really sucks that we did lose two of them. But you know what? I think the fact that we even have two in the first place shows a lot of, like, 
a lot of coolness right there. All right, skeleton horses. We must ride off into the sunset over here. I swear, I thought skeleton horses did not need saddles. Or am I thinking of uh, zombie horses when you're like in creative mode? So I might be thinking of that instead. You know what? I think I'm going to name them Sans and Papyrus just to play on like, you know, Undertale. Because I think that would be very funny right there. So we have Bjorn, PewDiePie, Sans and Papyrus. Should we give a name to the sheep? I don't know if we should name this sheep. All right, let's go and find another sheep baroni. Aha, I see two, three sheeps. Let's go. Now, I would like to take all three of you, but I only need one more. So I'm going to take you because you are the closest one. Oh, there's a fourth one. Never mind. Make that four sheeps nearby. I hate that I have to like sneak walk in order for it to not run away. All right, Mr. Sheep, we're almost to your brand new home. You got a little companion, buddy. Hey, no, come here. Come here. Sheep, come here. Come here. There we go. See? You just need a little, little encouragement with the wheat here. It's like an early cartoon where they like float to the pie when like smelling it. They just left in the air and start gravitating towards it. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Good sheep. Good sheep. And you know what? I think for you too, you deserve a little treat here. Let me get some wheat -a Oh, are these not? Oh, they were not fully grown. I was breaking a lot of like non-grown wheat blocks. A little embarrassing, but you know what? That's okay because we did have one. And there you go. See, you guys are the best as a pals. Now, I do think that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. I'll probably just do a little bit of like light mining just for some iron. So that way we can get an anvil next episode. And I'm not certain what I want to do now. We got a lot of ideas. Probably make an automatic farm or we make an automatic sheep shearer type of machine. But yeah, like I said, that's going to be pretty much it. So if you guys still like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And without the wait, this has been Lipper20 signing off. Bye-bye.